When I say Connor, you say trouble. Connor, trouble. Connor, trouble. Shut your f out, you'll do nothing. You'll do f nothing. Not one of you will do nothing. Get the f out of here. We wouldn't be able to start a new year without Conor McGregor being involved in some sort of controversy or allegations. So here they are. McGregor has hit the headlines. A woman has claimed that Conor threatened to drown her on his yacht before she jumped off. Yet these accusations are wild, but we're running with it. It's actually a pretty mad story. When I was first reading this, I couldn't believe it. It's pretty bizarre. So the woman says that she was punched, kicked, and threatened to be drowned on Connor's yacht before she leapt off, fearing for her life. In an article in The Sun, the woman actually claims that she suffered bruising after an incident that took place uh, the following night after Connor's birthday. So let me set the scene for you. Basically, what happened was Connor went out and celebrated his 34th birthday on a super yacht. And this incident is believed to have happened the morning after. The report actually says that McGregor became violent, kicking and punching her before threatening to drown her. It was as if he was possessed. I knew I had to leave the boat because I thought he was going to kill me. We have common friends and I've met him on a number of occasions. I can't believe what he did to me. So it is, it's, a, it's an acquaintance. So it's someone that Conor knows and he's gone out partying. And obviously with it, it being his birthday and it being Conor McGregor, I think we can all imagine what's going on here. Now you could argue that this could just be a woman, you know, looking for her five minutes of fame, looking for clout, looking for a story. Uh, but at the same time, there's no denial. Uh, that there was a woman in the water waiting to be rescued um, and so that incident did happen whether the beating and all the other claims before that are true that's uh, nobody knows so the woman jumped into the water to escape and was rescued by a passing boat she told the Irish police that they left me stranded they wouldn't even abandon a dog they, the way that they did me it's pretty wild it's pretty wild uh, but it is some of the stuff that we have come to expect from McGregor would I put it past him? Probably not. I mean, I, I, I'm firmly of the belief that it's innocent until proven guilty. Uh, but in this case, there was a woman crying out for help in the middle of the sea. Uh, so some things definitely happened there. Uh, whether all her claims are true, uh, we don't know the full story of that, or what actually went on. But um, yeah, it looks a bit suspect. And then even more strangely, within 24 hours of that news being leaked, there's another uh, headline that's just made the papers uh, saying that Conor McGregor was hit by a car that went through him and he says that he could have died. Um, I, just lots of stuff going on in the life of Conor McGregor by the looks of it. That could very well be uh, a bit of PR uh, just being pushed out there uh, just to just for his reputation and just to pick up the last few days of the news just absolutely hammering him anyway let me know your thoughts what do you think about the whole thing does this sound like something mcgregor would do uh let me know in the comments subscribe to the channel if you're new for more extraordinary stories and i'll see you in the next video peace